Hi guys. So it is word of the day Wednesdays and my goal has been to try to get this word out midday Wednesday. That has been a fail like the last two weeks. As you remember, hey Seth, as you remember last week I was on vacation so the word was released Thursday. Um, but for those of you who don't know, I am the author of Stories for the Urban Soul, Nicole D. Miller, which is a compilation of short stories depicting black characters dealing with everyday life issues, um, but it shares those stories through a faith-based faith lens, so it's encouraging, hope-filled, and it's kind of like a chicken soup for the soul for black people. It's kind of the feel of it, and a friend of mine described it as like a black hallmark. I also have two other books, which are nonfiction. The first one is How to Overcome Heartbreak, Recovering from Misguided Love. And I share my story of dealing with a breakup and what helped me navigate that situation to help others. And the sequel is How to Overcome Heartbreak, um, Stories That Heal. And so I interviewed seven other women and four other men, and I share their stories. So if you're going through anything similar, you're sure to find your story in one of those books. Both are available on Amazon and the stories for the urban soul is available on my site there's also a kindle version available on amazon if you read any of my books please put up a review on amazon because that helps me get the word out and they will actually push marketing if you do that so anyways i came up with this concept of word of the day wednesday um just to share like what was stirring in my heart because i felt like i was getting revelation and insight on certain things and I just kind of keep it pushing, but then I thought, well, what if other people have similar words or, you know, confirm something in their heart, and this could be a vehicle to kind of, you know, bring them that confirmation. So I also have a blog, betterthanwine.net, and the blog is also available on my website, nicoledmiller.com. And this past week, I released a blog post called, We Are Not Grasshoppers. And the word was inspired from a scripture I had, um, I shared in the blog and I can't even remember the scripture reference now but go on the website better than wine.net click on uh, we are that grasshoppers and read it and then you'll see the scripture reference but basically it just talks about the Israelites and how back in the day you know God promised them this land he promised them the land of Canaan you know he's all seeing all knowing everything and yet they got in their feelings when they went and they saw that the people there were larger than them and they said you know they're giants you know we are grasshoppers in our own sight like we can't do this like God you tripping you know that sort of thing so what I share is that I've had my own similar experiences with entrepreneurship with stepping on on faith with building my businesses and just like being like I feel like a grasshopper <laughs> you know and I realized like how many people feel like grasshoppers how many of us have something stirring in our hearts this unction in our gut we see the vision it looks so much bigger than us right it looks like the impossible maybe we don't have the resources maybe we don't feel we have enough experience we're talented enough I know when I started my bookkeeping business I definitely felt like I need more experience you know um, even though technically I had over 10 years of accounting finance under my belt but specifically for bookkeeping I felt like I needed more experience but what I didn't realize was like I was gonna attract the people who needed me I don't and as an expert in your field you don't need to know everything you just need to know more than your clients right and so one thing that I'm good at is not just um, have, being resourceful but knowing people who are also resourceful and knowing how to get the knowledge and resources that I need so if I don't know something then I'm just gonna research it you know I'm not gonna sit there and twiddle my thumbs and lose a client it's like well let me look into this for you and if I don't have the answer I'll find someone who does and just being willing to grind in that way so I kind of got off on a tangent but <laughs> My encouragement to you if you feel like something is stirring in your gut something is on your heart something is on your mind and it won't release you and it won't let go it is your calling right it is your calling it is something you are supposed to do and if you're supposed to do it then that means you have everything in you to accomplish it and sometimes those insecurities and those fears and maybe historical um, situations you know past issues of rejection or childhood abandonment and trauma like that stuff creeps up even in our 30s and 40s right so 
my point is in that scripture reference they got scared they felt like they were grasshoppers and they reaped the consequence of that the consequence was not only did they not inherit their promise that was already waiting for them but their children didn't as well and so another generation had to die off just for the next group of people to go in and take the land and we don't want that to be our story right we, this is our time. Like, I believe we were all put on this planet at this moment in time to connect with one another, right? To help stir each other's gifts up, to pull on one another, to create open doors of opportunities for one another. So if you're here on this planet at this time, it is intentional. There is a calling, there is a plan, and we are not grasshoppers. <laughs> But thank you guys for listening. Um, please visit my site, NicoleDMiller.com. You can learn more about the book. There's a uh, list of 20 dialogue questions that's free that you can download. I'm actually going to be hosting a small group on IGTV Live on September 3rd next Friday at 7 p.m. So you can pop in there. I'll put it back up on my YouTube if you do miss it. And you can order the book through there. And you can also just email me, contact me, whatever. And then the blog also filters through the website as well. So I would love to hear from you. I hope you're encouraged. I wanted to kind of keep these little uh, word of the day Wednesdays to like five minutes just so they're just little nuggets that you guys get. So but tune in next Wednesday. Uh, the goal is lunchtime, but if not lunchtime, hopefully after work for some of y'all. Enjoy your day. Be blessed. Talk to you later.